Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a lovely day today. Um, today I wanted to talk about a topic that is, it kind of was just something I realized the other day, or just kind of noticed, I guess, and that is, to those of us in the Grace community, you know, we are often accused of promoting sin, or saying live in sin, because we say that repenting of sin doesn't save you, or we say good works don't save you, and so therefore, people assume that then we're saying either don't do those good works, or just live in sin as much as you want. And to be honest, I think the reason for that is because a lot of people don't realize that you can do the right thing just because it's the right thing to do. You know, we don't need the threat of hellfire to just, like, to serve God. We serve God because he saved us. We live for him because he died for us. But with people who believe that they have to earn their salvation and who say, you know, I do good works. I I'm so sorry. I literally, like, I kicked my stand that's holding up my camera and it fell. So, um, anyway, getting back to the video, um, people will say, you know, oh, well, I do good works to be saved. I repent of all my sins to be saved and stuff like that. But when you really think about it, a good work isn't one that's trying to earn you salvation. You know, if you do a good work because you think it's going to earn you a spot in heaven or it's going to look good, that isn't a selfless work. That's a selfish work. Because no matter how much you think you're serving God, you're actually serving yourself because you're like, I'm doing this because I'll get into heaven. So when I was little, I was a huge Harry Potter buff. Read the books, watched the movies, still have a special place in my heart. And if you're not familiar with the books or the movies, basically there's four houses that people are kind of grouped into when they first arrive at Hogwarts based on house values. Gryffindor is for those who are brave. Hufflepuff is for those who are loyal and uh, hardworking. Ravenclaw is for those who are, I guess, really wise and seek wisdom. And Slytherin is for those that are ambitious. I'm so sorry, by the way, the lighting is terrible right now, so hopefully you can see me. Now, the House of Hufflepuff, one of the things that they're known for, other than loyalty and hard work, is doing the right thing just simply because it's the right thing to do. And this is, I kind of, what people don't understand, people in the free grace community are in support of, I guess you could say. You know, when we say that works don't save or repenting of sins don't save you, we're not saying don't do them. People, I guess, just assume that because it's not mandatory, you don't have any motivation to do it. But in all honesty, I think that kind of is saying a lot about how people just don't assume that you can do something out of love for God or love of others. And that sounds really like dark and kind of even like harsh, but when you really think about it, why would so many people just assume that if you're preaching free grace, that you don't work? Like people are so gung-ho to say, I serve the Lord. But if you're trying to earn your salvation by serving the Lord, you're not serving the Lord, you're serving yourself. You know, and this might sound, like I said, this might sound edgy, but I really don't think that you can actually serve the Lord just to serve the Lord until you're saved, which is by simply believing that Jesus actually paid for all your sins and you're going to heaven because of what he did. Because like I said before, if you're doing a work to earn salvation, it's not working for the Lord. It's still a selfish motive. So I don't know if this video was really to like help anyone, I guess, but it was just something that was on my mind that I just thought I'd share. Um, I'm so sorry that my videos have been like every few days instead of every other day. I'm going to try and get back to every other day. Um, sorry, that hasn't been the case right now. <laughs> if this video did help, yay, I'm glad. If you like this video, give it a like and hit the subscribe button. And if you ever have any comments, questions, concerns, whatever, just shoot me a comment or shoot me an email. Usually I say shoot me an email, but leave a comment and shoot me an email. See, this is what I'm talking about. My brain is just all over the place this morning. And as always, have a lovely rest of your day and God bless.